get out here, plans will change. And you need to have an initial plan that has the flexibility to change to the circumstances you are counting on. Recognizing that you had essentially failed and then trying to take that and learn from it. started with the narrative, what they want the perception to be, and that was challenging. Be cognizant of my visual signature, my electromagnetic signature, because if I can be sensed, I can be hit. MWX is a large-scale force-on-force exercise designed to operate against a peer competitor in the command and control denied or degraded environment. Our number one focus uh, in the uh, 2nd Marine Division is being ready for major conventional operations against a peer competitor. chance, uncertainty, chaos that normally happens in war will happen in this exercise. It's, it, simulations can be clean and kind of antiseptic. This will not be anything like that. So with the near-peer aspect too, that where they didn't abide by all the same conventions, it kind of made us have to be more creative as well and to try to put ourselves in that mindset of how do we think the adversary is going to act. Um, and so we had to be creative, obviously, within the Geneva Conventions, but that still allowed us to have a little more flexibility and uh, certainly challenged us. we were going to counterattack the enemy and the air support that was supposed to occur fell through and we had a moment where we realized that our orders were no longer valid that we were staging for assault and we had to really think hard we collectively as a staff the operations officer the intelligence officer the fire support officer and the air officer had to had to try and understand what had changed about the situation and what should we actually be doing it was one of those moments where everything just clicked everyone played their role and played it well and we were right. We immediately transitioned to the defense, and not too long after that, the enemy conducted a preemptive storm attack. MWX was challenging because you were facing a real adversary that was thinking and reacting just like you were. And so you had to put yourself in their shoes and think, how would I react to this? And try to figure out what they would be doing to kind of force our hand as well.
not going to get it like this anywhere else in the Marine Corps. There's no other base that allows you to do the things that you can do up here from squad level all the way up to regiment conducting the regimental assault course, which really allow you to connect all the pieces together. A unit that comes out here and succeeds would absolutely succeed in combat.